spread to the United States bring stories to be told. Mothers and fathers pass down tales of life in their countries of birth to their children. Stories like these are continuously told generation after generation as reminders of the lives of their ancestors and the struggles and joys they found coming to America. On January 10, 1821, Christine Florin was born in Sodom and Sweden. Though we don't know what her early life was like in Sweden, it's clear that she and her husband, Charles, thought it best to move their children to America. Many Swedish citizens between the 18th and 19th centuries found the political and religious climate to be unstable and oppressive. Many families and individuals made the difficult decision to leave the country for new opportunities. America was seen as a land of religious freedom, and many made the long and arduous journey across the sea to better their lives. Christine Florin and Charles Shieldstrom were joined in marriage on October 8, 1847 in Sweden. The dress seen here was worn by Christine and was passed through the family for many years. The couple was granted a plot of farmland by Charles's father, on which they lived and started a family. While still living in Sweden, the couple had five children. Letty, Charles, Joseph, Anna, and Gabriel. Prior to 1856, Charles was registered by the Swedish government as belonging to the Lutheran Church. After this period, he was labeled as a separatist by Swedish records. The family left Sweden in 1861 and immigrated to the Gasp Bay in Quebec, Canada, where Charles registered himself as a Quaker and acknowledged his newfound religious freedom. During the 11 years living in Canada, the couple had three more children, Louisa, Martha, and Sarah. In 1872, the family emigrated to the United States and lived in Maine for three years. During their time in Maine, Charles applied for and received citizenship, after which they moved to their new home, two miles south of Palmer, Nebraska, where they lived for the remainder of their lives. For many immigrants, America poses new opportunities, not only in religious freedom, but in farming, industry, and escape from political persecution. Early on, Chinese, Swedish, German, Japanese, Jewish, Russian, Irish, and other immigrants made the decision to leave their home countries to protect their families and provide new opportunities for life. The same decisions are now being made by people from Hispanic, Latino, Somali, and Sudanese origin, among others, and have come together as part of the larger community that is Grand Island, Nebraska. To date, the great-grandchildren of early families continue to pass their stories down to future generations. As we think about the past and remember the struggles and endurances of our ancestors, we can also look to the future and making life better for those who will come after us.